Hello everybody, welcome to another video about food and wine pairings. Today I'm going to tell you what wine you should serve with your Christmas dinner. So when it comes to wine and your Christmas dinner, I think it's kind of hard to pick one wine because it's going to depend on what food you're having for your dinner. You know, some people I know they do prime ribs, some people do seafood, ham, turkey, it's kind of all over the place. If you're doing turkey, be sure to check out my video that I did on Thanksgiving and the Thanksgiving food and wine pairing. Be sure to check that out. But it is going to depend on what kind of food you're serving because it is kind of all over the place. The wine that I have today is Merlot. And I think Merlot is a, it's a pretty versatile wine. It's going to be able to go with a lot of different things. It's kind of a middle of the road, you know, medium medium bodied, dark fruit flavors, medium tannins, medium acidity. It's gonna be very versatile. Now this particular one that I have actually comes from Mount Etna in Sicily, which is pretty unique because Merlot is not your typical grape that's gonna be used to make the Etna red. So this one's pretty unique. And I've had this one before. And why I think it's gonna be perfect for the food that I have today I remember it being just slightly on the higher side of the medium tannins, so medium high tannins, and I think that's gonna go perfectly with the meat. The food that I have today for the Christmas dinner, we have leg of lamb that was marinated in rosemary, olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, and then I cooked it on the grill. We have glazed carrots, so that's butter, a little bit of maple syrup, thyme, salt, pepper, and we have roasted potatoes with a garlic aioli. Now these, I'll let you know right now because I snuck a little taste before the video. Do not eat these garlic potatoes if you're around someone you're trying to impress because garlic breath for days. It's like, it's a good thing the, the camera doesn't have smell-o-vision because it's like fire breath, garlic for days, but they're really tasty. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Merlot, this Merlot from Villa Grande on Etna. It is, I would say a medium ruby color, maybe a slight little hint of purple in there. Smells unmistakably like black cherries. We'll go ahead and taste it. Yeah, you get the, the dark fruit flavors, the black cherries, maybe some blackberry or plum, the little spicy notes, because I think they have aged these in some wood barrels. So you get some spice, maybe a little bit of chocolate as well. Now let's see how it pairs with the food. Now, I think those dark red fruit flavors really go with the meat very nicely. And because you do get a little bit of that spice, I think that's kind of perfect for the holidays as well. But remember, like I said, there's no one size fits all wine when it comes to trying to pair with your Christmas dinner because I mean, what is your Christmas dinner? And that's exactly what I wanna know. What are you planning? to have for your Christmas dinner. What wine are you gonna serve with it? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video, but for now, cheers.